Hello everyone. We will discuss Stephen Krushen's theory of second language acquisition. But before that, we will first define what is second language acquisition means. So what is second language acquisition? Second language acquisition is seeks to quantify how and by what process individuals acquire a second language. Stephen Krushen is studying the University of Southern California. He is an expert in the field of linguistic, specializing in the theories of language acquisition and development. Much of his recent research has involved the study of non-English and bilingual language acquisition. There are five hypotheses of Krushen's theory of second language acquisition that has a large impact in all areas. Krushen's theory of second language acquisition consists of five main hypotheses. The first one is the acquisition learning hypothesis. Second, the monitor hypothesis. Third, the input hypothesis. Fourth, the effective filter hypothesis. And the last one is the natural order hypothesis. The acquisition learning distinction is the most fundamental of the five hypotheses in Krushen's theory, and it is the most widely known among linguists and language teachers. According to Krushen, there are two independent systems of foreign language performance, which is the acquired system and the learned system. So when we say the acquired system, or acquisition, it is the product of a subconscious process that is very similar to the process where the children undergo when they acquire their first knowledge. It requires meaningful interaction in the target language natural communication in which speakers are concentrated not in the form of their utterances but in the communicative act. So when we say learned system or learning, it is the product of formal instruction and it comprises a conscious process which result in conscious knowledge about the language. For example, knowledge of grammar rules. A deductive approach in a teacher-centered setting produces learning, while in indeductive approach, in a student-centered setting leads to acquisition. So next, the monitor hypothesis. When we say monitor hypothesis, it explains the relationship between acquisition and learning and defines the influence of the latter on the former. The monitoring function is the practical result of the learned grammar. According to Krushen, the acquisition system is the utterance initiator, while the learning system performs the role of the monitor or the editor. According to Krushen, the role of the monitor is minor, being used to correct deviations from normal speech and to give his speech a more polished appearance. Next is the input hypothesis. Input hypothesis is Krushen's attempts to explain how the learner acquires a second language and how second language acquisition takes place. The input hypothesis is only concerned with acquisition and not in learning. According to this hypothesis, the learner improves and progresses along the natural order when he or she receives second language input that is one step beyond his or her current stage of linguistic competence. Next is the Fective Filter Hypothesis. The effective filter hypothesis invades Krushen's view that a number of affective variables play a facilitative but non-casual role in second language acquisition. 
These variables include motivation, self-confidence, anxiety, and personality traits. And the last one is natural order hypothesis. So when we say natural order hypothesis, it suggested that the acquisition of grammatical structures follows a natural order which is predictable. Frashens points out that the implication of the natural order hypothesis is not that a language program syllabus should be based on the order found in the studies. In fact, he rejects grammatical sequencing when the goal is language acquisition. So that's all. Thank you.